Texas executed a mentally retarded man on Tuesday. Uh, his name was Marvin Wilson, and uh, he did have a psychological exam, and through that exam, they found out that he had an IQ of 61. Uh, in Texas, the benchmark for mental retardation is 70. So, you know, hey, another sad day in Texas, no big deal, you know. Supreme Court took a couple of minutes to decide whether they were gonna hear his case or not. No, summarily dismissed. Not going to hear the case. But wait a minute, it's a 2002 Supreme Court case that says you cannot, it's unconstitutional to execute people who are considered mentally retarded. They say, well, I don't know, Texas says, ah, on one test he was mentally retarded, on another one, maybe not. You know what Texas's incredibly dumb standard for execution is on this issue of mental retardation? They say, uh, they use the Lenny standard from Of Mice and Men. What the hell is that? Lenny's a fictional character. He doesn't even exist. And what does it even mean? Well, uh, how do you know if a 61 is Lenny or a 51 is Lenny? Uh, that is ridiculous. Supreme Court in a couple of minutes is like, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead and execute the guy. I guess he's, you say he wasn't Lenny. I mean, he scores as a person who has mental retardation, but it doesn't matter. You know, this guy, uh, he used to suck his thumb until his 20s. They, they said he couldn't do simple things like tie his shoelaces together. Now, look. And then the prosecution says, no, he came up with schemes and plotted and et cetera, et cetera. But look, let me ask you something. If we're even close, why have that conversation, right? Like, ah, like, oh, is the guy mentally incapacitated or not? I don't know, let's just execute him. That's basically what Texas says. That is that is what Texas said. And by the way, I, I don't want you guys to think that he was convicted and there's absolutely no way possible that it was a wrongful conviction. Because when you look at the case itself, first of all, he was convicted of killing a man, shooting and killing a man in 1994 uh, because the man identified him as a drug dealer to police, okay? However, there was an accomplice to the shooting, someone by the name of Terry Lewis, and Terry Lewis's wife claimed that uh, Marvin Wilson said that he was the one who pulled the trigger. Well, isn't that incredibly convenient? Other than that, there was absolutely no forensic evidence or eyewitness testimony indicating that he was the shooter, okay? So that's great. So it might be unconstitutional, plus we had really weak evidence. But just to be safe, let's execute him. I mean, how barbaric have we become? You remember during the Republican primaries when they asked about this question to Rick Perry, the governor of Texas. They said, well, does it bother you at all that you might be executing people, as, you know, whether they did it or didn't do it, you know, doesn't it bother you? Even if they did it, doesn't it bother you for a second? Apparently the answer was no. Uh, your state has executed 234 death row inmates more than any other governor in modern times. Have you... Have you struggled to sleep at night um, uh, uh, with the idea that any one of those might have been uh, innocent? No, sir, I've never struggled with that at all. Never struggled with it at all, and but the sick part was the applause. Uh, standing over, yes, executions, mentally retarded people, let's execute them. Well, they got no forensic evidence, no eyewitness testimony, but the other guy's wife says you did it, yes, execute them. You know what he said at the end? He said. Give mom a hug for me. Tell her that I love her. Take me home, Jesus. Take me home, Lord. I ain't left yet. Must be a miracle. I am a miracle. Well, it was no miracle. Uh, he was executed. He's now dead. And Texas must be so proud.